is Julie Bayshaw and I'm a chef at the Sugar Arts Institute in conjunction with my assistant here, Clyde Metzler. And we're going to show you today how to make crepes. Crepes used to be so difficult to make, but with the technique that I'm going to show you, this will be the best recipe in your collection. It's very easy, literally pre-sifted flour, and the flour must be pre-sifted so that it is nice and airy. Half a cup of pre-sifted flour. Four eggs. It's not necessary to beat them before we get started. If you want to put salt in, you can. You can leave it out. If you're making dessert crepes, a teaspoon of sugar will give it a little sweetness. And a cup of milk. We're going to add half the milk and then included in the milk I have three tablespoons of butter. I'm going to beat this together. Just until it's well incorporated. Add the remaining milk and butter. The butter needs to be melted and then beat it until it's well incorporated. Once it's well incorporated, put the batter into the refrigerator for an hour to let it rest. That allows the flour particles to expand so that when we make the crepes, we will get nice little holes in them, creating lovely, lacy looking crepes. The most important thing when one is making crepes is to cure your pan. My preference is to work with a cast iron and pan. I have smoking hot oil in here. Pour the oil out. This is what is known as curing the pan. So now my pan is ready. Make sure that it's nice and hot. It should be because the oil was smoking. And here I have my batter that's been sitting in the refrigerator for an hour. And literally what I'm going to do is bring the pan over to my bowl, pour my batter in, and very quickly pour it out. Clean off the edge, and you'll notice all the little holes. Those holes are created from the expansion of the flour as it was standing in the refrigerator, and that's the most essential part of making crepes. Let this sit for a few minutes, Release the edge. The difference between crepes and pancakes is that crepes are delicate, thin, and lacy, and you should be able to see the holes. Pancakes are thicker and heavier, and they don't have the little holes in them. And that truly makes the difference. Just release. Thank you, Clyde. Release the crepe from the edge of the pan. It doesn't take long for them to cook. And let that fall out onto the plate. And then just continue. Pop the frying pan back on the stove top. Bring it over, pour the batter in. Very quickly pour it out. You'll see the holes developing. Clean off the edge. Most people are more familiar with dessert crepes, uh, especially crepe Suzette, but I'm going to show you how to work with hummus and cheese and make a savory crepe. The lacy part of the crepe is the most attractive part, so flip it over and work from the inside. Here I have some hummus. By now, the crispiness of my crepe has dissipated and it's a little softer and more pliable, which means that I can spread my hummus. You can spread cream cheese, you can add cottage cheese, uh, you can add yogurt to this. I'm actually working with hummus. We'll have a nice healthy crepe. Sprinkle a little cheese over the top. Here I have cheddar pep pep and pepper jack cheese. Go all the way to the edge and then roll. Trim off 
the edges and you can serve these hot or cold. I actually prefer to bake them in the oven for about five minutes or you can even pop them in the microwave. They make the most delicious crepes. Another way of serving them is to fold them into triangles. Again, the crepe is now soft. It's not crispy, so it's not going to break. Sprinkle the cheese on top, and if you're going to be putting them into the shape of triangles, then the cheese needs to be a little less amount on the crepe, and that is done by merely folding it over and then folding it again and then just trim off the edge. They can also be used as little cocktail crepes. Cut them up into smaller sections and serve them that way. And as I said, they can be baked in the oven, popped under the broiler, or even heated in the microwave. And here we have some pockets that have been baked in the oven, therefore they'll be a little bit more crispy. And we will be serving those to our hosts in a few minutes. Another way of presenting your crepes is to put your crepe over a fluted mousse mold. It has to be greased and to bake the crepe in the oven. It becomes firm like a taco shell and can be filled with salad or any type of chicken filling, tuna fish, and it gives a very nice presentation. It will hold up, even though it's thin and delicate, quite well. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to email. Enjoy making crepes, have fun, and God bless your kitchen.